Alright yo what's good guys Jordan Hunter here welcome back to another video so I'm currently in the gym parking lot right now kind of stalling a bit because I honestly have no energy and I'm about to go train back took a scoop of pre but it hasn't hit me yet uh, honestly I'm not going to be filming this workout just because it's like six o'clock right now and the gym is super busy plus I'm by myself so it's really hard to film especially when you're training back like there's nowhere really for me to set up the camera or anything like that so uh, unfortunately not gonna be filming this video but I do have some leg day footage from last Thursday when I trained with Mark uh, that I just haven't used yet because honestly I kind of forgot about the video so I don't want to just um, Put, I want to put that footage to use, so I'm going to play it uh, after this little rant that I go on real quick. Uh, so as you guys can see by the title of the video, I probably titled it like I messed up or something like that. So pretty much what happened was, well first off let me start with this. So I've been dieting for a month now, uh, you guys probably know where I'm going with this, but I've been really good. I haven't had a cheat day or anything, I've been really good with my diet, I've been tracking my food right from the start. Been seeing, I've been seeing pretty good progress, I'm down like 7 pounds now within a month, uh, which is honestly perfect for me, I don't want to drop weight too quickly, uh, like I did my first cut, I'm trying to preserve as much muscle as I possibly can, as well as strength, so it's honestly been going really good. Um, but as you guys know, Easter just passed and my family, we always have a big Easter dinner. Uh, so I purposely, I knew it was coming up, so I saved my cheat day for that day specifically. Uh, and everything was fine like the Easter dinner. It wasn't that bad. I just had uh, a lot of carbs um, I purposely did low carb three days before um, and then I slammed a bunch of carbs It was just it was honestly just a bunch of protein and carbs. It wasn't really that bad of a cheat meal But then the desserts came out. So this is where I messed up uh, I told myself you know what I deserve it. I'm just gonna have one little cupcake You guys know I, f I absolutely love junk food. I crave sugar really bad um, So yeah, I was like, you know what? One cupcake, not gonna hurt. I deserve it. I've been working hard. Uh, so yeah, pretty much long story short, one cupcake turned into like four. Um, and then I was like, okay, I met, and plus I had some mini eggs as well. I can't forget that. Uh, so I was like, okay, you know what? I binged a little bit. It's all good. I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna eat anything for the rest of the night. You know, I probably consumed 4,000 calories, even though my uh, regular calories are like 2200 right now so I consumed a lot of extra calories you know I was whatever I wasn't stressing too much but then this is where it got bad so I had a bunch of chocolate sitting in my closet okay you guys know where I'm going with this so here's the thing with me when I'm dieting well I do have bad cravings but I've honestly found that this year specifically that um, because I'm buying my own food and everything and uh, I'm not eating the same foods as my family. I've been staying on track of my diet and everything like that I honestly haven't had that bad of cravings. Like I said, I haven't cheated once It's been like a month now and I've been really good on my diet But then I had this chocolate sitting in my closet now the thing with me is if I don't have it around me I'm fine. I'm chilling But when I have a bunch of chocolate sitting in my closet that I know was just sitting there waiting for me and I just oh my god I gave in guys I fucking I binge really bad so not only did I have those three cupcakes but I ate a bunch of chocolate that I had in my closet um, I, I messed up I messed up really bad I woke up the next morning three pounds heavier and now even though most of it was just water weight uh, basically what I'm trying to get at is we're all human we all mess up I binge really hard I just I had a moment and I'm basically just trying to let you guys know that it's okay it's gonna happen we all mess up but it's what you do to come back from that so like I said the next morning so Monday morning I weighed in three pounds heavier I was low-key slapping myself I was like man like what did you do you messed up uh, you set yourself backwards but I took into consideration that it's mostly just water weight and that day I went really hard I did my cardio uh, I did 30 minutes of cardio burned like 400 calories uh, I ate in a super deficit so I usually eat around 2200 calories that day I ate 2000 calories so I was in an even lower deficit and I trained really hard and I tracked my food and I stayed on track with everything and then long story short this morning so Tuesday now uh, two days later I woke up at the same weight as I did Sunday morning before I cheated so Honestly, I'm back to where I started. It doesn't matter. I lost that three pounds quickly So what I'm trying to say is that even if you do have a minor setback, it doesn't matter guys Like I said, we're all human. We're all gonna mess up, but it's how you bounce back So don't get discouraged honestly just get back on track the next day and kill your workouts and that's pretty much it man honestly, I was really down on myself, but uh, Tuesday morning today right now. I'm literally back to where I started Sunday morning. So honestly, it didn't even affect me at all um, it was good because I kind of got it out of my system now. I had all that chocolate and so I'm pretty good now Honestly, I might not even have another cheat meal for the rest of my cut 
it honestly, I'm actually glad it happened because I'm so much more focused now on my goals and I just want to kill it. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. But yeah, I pretty much just wanted to talk about it real quick just to give you guys some encouragement. If maybe you're cutting and you messed up as well, you binge really hard. It's not the end of the world, guys. Just get back on track the next day and kill it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to talk about it, share it with you guys uh, because I do want to share with you guys this whole cutting process and I want to be as real with you guys as possible so yeah I messed up I did but uh, we're back on track now baby so yeah like I said I'm going to train back right now but I'm not gonna film it like I said it's super busy in there and I'm by myself so uh, I'm actually gonna to cut to the footage right now that I filmed on Thursday when I trained legs with Mark um, I also I didn't film an intro so I'm just gonna or sorry an outro so I'm just gonna do it now hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like I appreciate it and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the leg day footage. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, what's going on guys? Jordan Hunter here. Welcome back to another video. About to head to Carlson Place for the second day in a row. If you guys seen my last video, I uh, trained with Mark at the circus. Uh, I also brought the drone out for the first time this year. Uh, I was finally nice enough to fly it. And then me and Mark also got a bunch of fire pictures for Instagram and whatnot. So it was honestly a really productive day. Uh, like I said in my last video too, I have the next three days off work. So I'm honestly just focused on content these next three days. Uh, I've been slacking on the videos and everything. But I'm not going to get into that. I've already talked about it. But uh, yeah, so I'm really just focused on content. So like I said, heading down to Carlton Place right now, me and Mark are going to be training legs at the circus. And then I'm not too sure what else is on the agenda for today. Uh, we'll probably go back to his place. And uh, I actually have to post a video, which would have been the one before this. So going to do that at his place and whatnot. But We'll see what we get up to, but yeah, like I said, uh, heading to Carl's Place right now, so I'll see you guys at the circus. Nightmares creep while you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Alright guys, we're at the gym now. Just finished warming up, stretching everything. Also did some band work. I talked about it in one of my uh, previous videos, but I have a really tight like right hip flexor. I don't know what I did, I fucked something up. But uh, yeah, we're training legs, starting with squats as always. So we got three plates in the bar right now. Probably gonna do three sets, we'll see how it feels and then finish up with squats uh, honestly it didn't go that well I still have the pain in my right hip flexor I honestly don't know what I did but uh, to be honest this isn't the greatest workout me and Mark kind of both out of it right now I have a headache um, so we're just trying to make the most of this workout but yeah we're moving on to leg press now so let's get it
you to feel so good. 